Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a different type of video than I have been doing lately. I am going to be redecorating our master bedroom. It has been a hot minute since I have replaced anything. We've had those pillows for a very long time. Um, those lamps I've had since Andrew and I first got married like over four years ago. So it's about time. We are in the process of looking to buy our first home. So at any moment we could pick up and move, but I don't know when that's gonna be and it could be a year from now. So I figured why not just make this room cozy. It's something I'm itching to do. And I wanted to bring you guys along with me. I'm also going to be sharing how I did this on a budget ish. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to find your style as well as how to find inspiration to decorate different areas in your home. So let's give you a little room tour first and I'm going to show you what everything looks like currently. So here is the before. This bed frame is going to stay. Eventually we would like to get like a wooden frame or a headboard, but like I said, we're doing this kind of on a budget, so we're just going to keep it for now. Um, these lamps I'm going to sell. These nightstands are going to stay, and yeah, so this is what it looks like before. We're renting, so this is an accent wall. I wish that I could paint it, but we're going to leave that for now. I've got a rug that I'm going to put down here. And that's really going to change things up. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. This rug might be one of my favorite parts of the whole room. It really brought the room together. I felt like it brightened everything up. And this rug is from Well Woven. These rugs are super good quality. They're beautiful, but they're just, you can tell they're really good quality rugs. So when we move to our next house, I hope to get well-woven rugs for all of the rooms. I also have a discount code for you guys. The code is XOALLY15 and it gives you 15% off of purchases of $75 or more. And I'm telling you, there's something about adding a rug to a room, even if you already have carpet like I do, it really ties a room together. So now we're going to put up the curtains and the curtain rods and I just got a two pack of these curtain rods from Amazon and I'm going to have everything linked in the description box at least as much as I can link but I'll definitely have these linked in my Amazon storefront. And then these are the curtains that I picked up also from Amazon. They're just super sheer white so really basic but very inexpensive and I'll have these linked as well.
So these are the sheets, and I'm in love with them, and I'm definitely going to get more. But um, these are the Threshold brand from Target. They're 400 count. And you guys, these are honestly the best sheets I have ever owned. I've had this exact brand and thread count just in different colors in the past. They are so soft. They last forever. They don't pill up, which is really nice. And they just fit really good. I should have shown you the fitted sheet, but there's lots of just details that make it fit to your um, mattress really well and it's super deep as as well so it, it really tucks up under there um, there's lots of elastic and gathering and things like that so I love these sheets I'll have them linked totally recommend but isn't this color beautiful Okay, now here is an interesting detail. So this is my bedspread, and I love it so much. I think I bought this on Wayfair, and um, this is what the packaging looks like. That's the brand. I'll have the exact one linked if I can. But when I got it, I realized it is what's called a coverlet, and it said that. I just didn't know what that meant. I thought it was just like a, like a blanket, like a quilt kind of thing. But what that means is it is basically the thickness of a sheet. It's very, very thin. So here is what I'm going to do for now. So this is a duvet cover with a duvet insert from Ikea. I'm just going to go ahead and keep this for now. Lay this over the top. It looks beautiful. I've already done it before um, just to see what it was going to look like. But what I might do is see if I can find... The duvet cover version of it I know it's out there because one of my friends actually has it I didn't realize it until we were talking about it and she's like that sounds just like mine but she has the duvet cover version so I'm gonna see if I can find that one I might be returning this to get that one but we'll see another thing I did is we have a queen bed but I hate that Queens as you can see by here this is a queen duvet um, cover it's too short. I don't like the way it looks. So what I did is I got a king coverlet and it goes almost to the floor and I love the way that looks. So I'm gonna put it on and show you guys what it looks like.
this place that we're in But I'm your liability You're a lonely sailor, and your soul is made of wind and rain, doubts and blame. I'm a weary pirate, and my heart is made of dust and grain, and spoiled champagne. I've got troubles, I've got sins, I'm my worst enemy, but I've still got a lot to give. So I said, hey, don't you want to come, come and run away with me? Hey, won't you come, won't you come? And say by chance, don't you want a man, a man who fully understands? A sailor's heart, a sailor's heart. survivor and you'll never find yourself in love you're wise enough i got troubles i got sins i'm my worst enemy but i still got a lot to give so i said hey don't you want to come come and run away with me hey won't you come won't you come all right you guys the room is all done and i am way more excited about how it turned out than i even thought i was gonna be i'm just in love with how bright and cozy at the same time it is i just love everything i think i was worried about these signs or these pictures and i think that they're beautiful they really are beautiful um there's lots of different textures going on different colors even though it's still very neutral there's like that little pop of pink um and then just different like colors and textures within the neutral palette so i'm super excited about it i actually really love now the accent wall i think it definitely um, gives it some contrast that it definitely needed so now what i want to do is i'm going to go through and i'm going to share with you where i got everything um, because I know that that's really helpful. I'm going to link as much as I can and if I can't link it then at least I can tell you where I got it. So let's start over here with the nightstand. This lamp is from Target and I already had this shade and I also already had the harp which is this piece right here. So just FYI if you get these lamps from Target you're going to need a shade and a harp. And then this little gold jewelry case. I don't really know what it is but um, I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was half off, so that was awesome. And then these are my oils from Young Living. This is my immunity roller that I use every night before I go to bed. And then this is the Desert Mist Diffuser that you can get with your starter kit. And this is also from Young Living. And then my nightstands are from Ikea. We've had them for a really long time. They are the Hemnes line. And it comes in two different colors of white. This you cannot really tell on camera, but this is the stain. We wanted to get the solid white, but they didn't have it. So it doesn't really matter, you guys, if you go stain or white, they both look really, really good. So these are from Ikea. Now let's talk about this rug. I'm absolutely in love with this rug. It is from the company Well Woven, and I'll link the exact one, but I hope in the next house that we get to just 
use well woven rugs all over the house. They're beautiful, they're excellent quality. And um, I just love it. I'm so excited about these rugs. You can get rugs from anywhere, but <laughs> there is definitely a difference between a good quality rug <laughs> and a not so good quality. And these are definitely good quality, but look at the beautiful colors, textures. It's kind of a gray blue with cream and I love it so much. People are probably gonna be wondering why I have a rug on top of carpet, <laughs> but I don't love the color of this carpet. It's brown. It's something we can't change since we're in a rental. So I added this rug to brighten up the room and I definitely think it brings it together so well. So I will have this rug linked in the description box below for you guys. Definitely check out Well Woven, they're the best. And then my bed frame is from Wayfair. I hope they still have it, I'll double check. If they have it, I'll link it for you guys. But it's a tufted headboard as well as like a frame, Let's see if I can show you. Um, so that's from Wayfair. And then let's talk about pillows and bedding. So I need to get new pillows. That is something that I have on my like grown up to-do list <laughs> of things to get. So I need to get new pillows just to make it fluffier. But um, these sheets are from Target. They're the Threshold brand, 400 count, best sheets you'll ever find. And then the bedspread that also comes with the shams is from Wayfair. And like I said earlier, it's a coverlet, so it's very thin. And let me show you what I did to solve that problem. So I kept, I do plan on replacing this blanket. I would love to get like a white waffle knit or even a cream. Um, but for now, this is what we have. I've had this for years since before Andrew and I were married, but it's honestly the best. And then this is our duvet and duvet cover. That's from Ikea that we used to have on our bed. I just left it there because we need some more blankets, obviously, to sleep with. But it also helps this not be see-through because there's white underneath it. So that's my solution to that. And then let's talk about these pillows. So I love these pillows so much. They're exactly what I was looking for. These, they're actually all from Target. So these two are from Target. These two are from Target. These are my favorite pillows I've ever seen. <laughs> I love them so much. And then this round guy is also from Target. And then I told you guys I was trying to do this on a budget. I didn't want to like replace everything brand new. So I used a lot of what I already had. And I already had this throw blanket on my bed. It is, I believe this is from Target for like $19.99. But I already had that. And then I also already had this tray. Again, I believe it's, oh yeah, this is a hearth and hand tray. So it's from Target as well. And I already have that too. And then over here, I just picked up this flower and vase from Hobby Lobby. But that's definitely something that you could probably, you might even have that on hand already. So that would save you some money. And I wanted to keep the nightstands very clean because we're going to be putting stuff on it anyways. That's just the nature of a nightstand. But when I cleaned it off, I love just that very clean look. And then these signs, <laughs> I have actually shared them on Instagram with you guys. I went back and forth whether I should DIY them or just go ahead and buy them. I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought them. They are a little bit on the pricey side, um, but I think that they were exactly what I was looking for. If you are crafty and are able to DIY, you could so easily make these. Just get prints off Etsy and then distress some frames from literally anywhere. But I'm not a DIY person, so I just went ahead and bought them, and they are from Antique Farmhouse. And then these curtains, it's kind of hard to tell because they're backlit, but the curtain panels are from Amazon. Super sheer, but I love them. They come two to a pack, and I, did I say I got them from Amazon? Got them from Amazon. So I ordered two packs for my windows. And then the curtain rods, I really, really like. They're very thin, so you might not be able to get away with a super heavy duty curtain. If you did put a heavy curtain on, I would suggest buying a bracket to support the middle part. But these are also from Amazon, very inexpensive. This floor length mirror, or full length mirror, I would love to replace it one day and get a nicer one. This is just from Walmart, and we have had it for 
many, many, many years, and it has gone from house to house with us. So for now, this is what we have. Eventually, I'd like to replace it. And then, you guys, I wasn't sure if I was even going to decorate, but then I figured the rest of the room looked so cute, so I have to decorate this as well. So, <laughs> again, being very um, budget-friendly, I stole this lamp from Emerson's room, so I'm going to have to find a replacement for her room. But I do plan on redecorating her room once we move to our new house. So um, she's not going to miss this for now because her room's not even put together. But yeah, I think I got this from Target. It came with the lampshade, obviously the lamp base, and it, that was very inexpensive. Andrew picked this up. I don't know where he got it, but we bought it to take pictures of essential oils on. And I thought it was perfect for right here. It's got the white, it's got the wood touch, and I really think that it pulls this together really well. Without it, it looks kind of bare and empty, like it's missing something, but now it looks so cohesive. This plant we have had forever, it's fake, and it's from Ikea, as well as this pot. And then this is something else that I stole from Emerson's room. I had gotten these from Hobby Lobby for her, and they're really cute, so I might end up getting more to put in her room later. But I love them so much, these little bookends. It comes two to a pack. This is Magnolia Table, a cookbook. I love the binding on it. It's kind of like a linen, so I thought that was really pretty in here, even though it's a cookbook. Oh well. And then these are just my, my Bible and my devotionals. And then over here, is another diffuser. This is the Rainstone diffuser from Young Living. I really like this one. This would be good for like a guy's office, but I just also really like it in our bedroom. Oh, and it comes with a remote control, which is cool. And then I also picked this up, this water jug or juice jug or whatever, from Target for like six bucks. I already had this plant from Target. And then this stand came from TJ Maxx and it was actually like that galvanized metal and I spray painted them white. This used to be in my kitchen and I pulled it out of there to bring in here and I love it so much better here. This little decorative ball is from Hobby Lobby. I stole that from Emerson's room too. This is just a little, uh, what is it called, flower sack towel. You can get those from Walmart, Target, anywhere. And then just some essential oils. This is Dreamcatcher and Manuka. Both of these I could honestly use in here. Manuka is good for a bunch of different things. Um, and Dreamcatcher is just really good for nighttime, but I really loved the colors. <laughs> the blue kind of ties, ties in with the sheets, and then pink, obviously, because I have pink touches. So that's the dresser area. I'm really glad that I did this. I think it looks so cute. I wish that I didn't have to plug the diffuser in there, but I do. Um, if I was going to stay here, I would get, like, a power strip, uh, but... We're not going to be here that much longer. And then I, if, I, if we were going to stay here, I would also probably get one of those white cord hiders. That way you wouldn't see this black cord. But oh well, not a big deal. So that's it, you guys. Super happy with how it turned out. I didn't want to end this video without sharing with you guys one of my biggest discoveries and biggest tips about finding your personal style for your house or a space in your house. So I've spent all of my life not knowing what my personal style was. I didn't know which direction to go with as far as decorating. Did I like farmhouse? Did I like coastal? Did I like boho? Like what was my style? And I just I honestly didn't decorate my house because it stressed me out. I didn't wanna buy something that I later was going to not like or regret or whatever so I just didn't decorate my house until I discovered <laughs> Pinterest which I know Pinterest has been around for forever literally Pinterest was around when I was in college which was a while ago so this is nothing new but I discovered how to use Pinterest to find my own personal style and this is how I did it we're gonna use the master bedroom as an example, I've actually gone through every area in my house and created a board and I'll be honest, I like mine to be secret. I'm just that way. I don't want other people to be like judging me or whatever. This is like my personal space. So you can make your board secret, title it, for instance, master bedroom. And then you're gonna go, you're gonna type in the search bar, master bedroom, and start scrolling through all the master bedrooms that pop up. As your eye is drawn to a certain image save that image don't think about it don't analyze it if you like it pin it 
Once you have gone through and pinned as many as you think you need, open up that board and look at all of your pins. I think you're gonna be amazed because I absolutely was, and I'm still amazed every time I do this, at how cohesive it is. You have similarities, your board looks cohesive. And I couldn't do that if I tried to. If I had done it on purpose, it would not look like that. But that gives you the best idea for what your style is. It's not based off of what's popular right now. It's not based off of what somebody else is doing. It is literally what you like saved to a board. It's amazing. So that is what I suggest you guys do. That's what I did. And then to kind of fine tune it and hone in even further, find one picture that has an element that you like and try and replicate whatever it is in that picture that you like. Now, remember, this is all from your pinned board. Don't go rogue and find different pictures that, that you didn't pin or whatever. So say you found a picture and you loved the signs above the bed. We'll do a little research. Maybe in that blog post or whatever it is, they have the company or the brand or the store that they got that, those pictures from linked. So you can either grab those or you can DIY them. Um, and so do that with every area of your, whatever space it is that you're trying to decorate. You don't have to be a professional decorator. You can use these pictures as inspiration and as guidance, but then at the end of the day, it is your style. It is not something that somebody else has done. It is your own thing. So. I am so excited that I discovered this and I had to share it with you guys because it really changed the game for me as far as decorating and I went from dreading decorating or it causing me to be anxious to now I love it and I love the end result. So I hope that you guys liked this video. It was super fun for me to film. I've been waiting for weeks to be able to film it. Um, if you guys liked something in particular, let me know what it was. And you guys, once we get a new house, oh, I'm so excited to take you guys with me and decorate every square inch of that house. After decorating this room, it has really showed me how cozy and homey it feels when you decorate the space. So I'm really excited to be able to take you guys along with me. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. I promise you there's some really, really, really exciting stuff coming up very soon that you don't want to miss. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. I update there pretty much first. So if you want any updates, go there. And then I also have a wellness Instagram account at simply essentials underscore Allie. And there I talk about wellness. I talk about my essential oils and um, I share recipes, DIYs, things like that. So follow me over there if that's something that interests you. And I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.